In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can put an old school leader, uh, you know, countdown before a video, and also how you can put an old grainy film effect on a piece of video that you have in the mixing screen. So here I have a video taken from my video camcorder of Katrina getting married. And what I want to do is put an old grey film grain effect on top of it. And I also want to uh, put a leader in, a countdown. Now, I can always get those pieces of footage um, in iStock. If you just put in old condition film, you know, old scratch film, you'll get plenty of different videos. Uh, countdowns and scratches and old projector footage uh, but also there's plenty of free images on YouTube of people who have put them up like here's one of a film scratch here you know you can get a 16 millimeter film scratch here on on uh, YouTube and um, you so you could get that image let's say I wanted to put a 16 millimeter film scratch onto um, my video. What I'll do is I'll just highlight the URL and just click copy or right click and select copy and then I'm using an application called YouTube Downloader HD and what I can do is then is just click and paste it in and then I'm going to pick MP4 high quality and then just click start so it just takes a little bit sorry I'll just place that in again and just click start and there it's downloaded so it's just taking a little while to download but once it's downloaded TrackX will automatically find it and put it in to the media browser so I can just drag and drop it in So here is a 16 millimeter film scratch. So I'll just go back into TrackX and see that it's found it straight away. So what I want to do is just drag and drop it into the mixing screen. And uh, it's obviously got a piece of audio in it as well, but I'll just delete the audio out and then just have the film scratch. So now that it's parsed, I can see the scratch there. Now you can see that the scratch is actually I'm using a HD video and the video that I've downloaded is 640 by 480. So when I click play you'll see the borders there. And I also want to get rid of that intro. So I'll just go to the part where it stops and when the scratch begins and I'll just go to that point. Now what I want to do is make it fill the whole screen so that there's not these borders here. So just click in the segment properties and I'll go to the zoom and I'll just make it zoomed out bigger. So it's now f filling the whole screen. There we go. Now what I want to do is make, I'm just going to just end it there as well. Now what I want to do is make it transparent so I have the collage functions on which is the new feature and then I'll just use the, the video brightness button to adjust this so let's just click play and see how that looks no so you can see there's a film scratch now on it and it looks pretty good and what I want to do now is I want to I don't want it to be color so I wanted to give it that old black and white look so what I'll do is I just right click and go to video effects and then I will select monochrome so you can see the monochrome is now in now what I want to do is have it monochrome for it so you see the envelope goes from color to monochrome back to color and I just want it to be all monochrome and control the whole level so I just right click on the envelope and select reset the envelope so now the envelope is now monochrome so I can control the whole volumes the whole level of the monochrome effect so I'll just that looks pretty good there and then I'll just stretch it for the whole video so now I'll just click play 
and you can see now that I have an old black and white effect with a scratch on it so that's come out pretty good and that's exactly what I was looking for now I could use other effects so I'll just mute this effect for a second this monochrome I'll just mute it so now it's just a monochrome video and I've got some other ones that I've downloaded so here's another one old film scratches this was downloaded from YouTube as well so I'll just plonk that one in and again this one is at the same resolution so I don't have to do any of the zooming and again I'll just bring it in like so controlling the video brightness and I will have it so you can see there the video brightness is full and the more I bring it down the more the two video files blend and now I'll just click play and again you can see I have that old video effect if I just unmute this I've now got two effects on it and again I can control the brightness so it looks nice and old and quite worn okay so let's say now that I'm happy with that and I've got all my videos like this and I want to bring in a leader so what I'll do is I'll just use the auto selection tool and I'll just select all of these and I'll group them together so I'll add them to group one so now I c I've got all these video clips together grouped so I don't have to worry about anything going off so I can move them all in one in one um, unit and now I want to bring in a countdown so a leader like five four three two one an old leader again you can get one get them in eye stock so here's one an old SMT leader but you can actually get them on YouTube as well so if you just go SMPT leader there's there's many many there so again you can just pick one and uh, go to YouTube downloader and select it so I have one already downloaded I just use YouTube downlo downloader mp4 click start download it and here is the leader here so it's an old leader here and then I can just drag and drop it into the mixing screen so the whole leader starts like this and I'll just snap it here so these are all moved so I don't have to worry about all of them I can group them all together so they'll all move together and snap to it so I will just start with the leader like so And here's the video in. Now I can always control the level of brightness by controlling the video brightness envelopes. And then I'll just put some fades at the end. So I'll just fade this, just fade out, fade out, and a fade out. Let's see how that looks. So that's how you can get an old grey film effect on a piece of footage using TrackX PC. I'll uh, render this so you can have a look at it on the website as well and uh, see what you think. I hope this helps and if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to contact me. Best regards, Cormac.